Arriving in Vancouver, we took the Sky Train and disembarked at Waterfront Station. Our cruise package is called the Seven Day Inside Passage with Glacier Bay National Park. Our cruise originates and concludes at Canada Place in the heart of Vancouver. The itinerary includes visits to four ports of call, Vancouver itself, followed by Juneau, Skagway, and Ketchikan. We booked our cruise to Alaska with Princess Cruises for the trip from May 7th to the 14th. We made our way to the check-in counters of Princess Cruises, greeted warmly by attentive service assistants, who meticulously ensured that every detail of our records was correct and in perfect order. We were presented with a medallion, a quarter-sized wearable device that enables everything from touch-free boarding to granting access to our luxurious stateroom. As the route would take us to cross borders, we had to visit the immigration counter for essential security clearance. At 2.10 p.m., we stepped on board the majestic vessel, the Ruby Princess. Promptly, at 3.15 p.m., the call of all aboard echoed through the ship, signaling our departure. Finding our way to the dining area, we enjoyed our first meal on board, savoring both the cuisine and the anticipation of the adventure ahead. Day 3, May 9th, we arrived Juno at 1.30 p.m. Juno the capital city of Alaska, accessible only by air or sea due to its remote location, is nestled at the base of Mount Juneau and Mount Roberts. Surrounded by the towering peaks of the coast mountains and bordered by the waters of the Gastineau Channel, the city's landscape is characterized by lush tempered rainforest, dramatic fjords, and abundant wildlife. The discovery of gold in the late 19th century brought prospectors and settlers to the area leading to Juno's establishment as a mining town, and later as the territorial capital of Alaska in 1906. Juno's harbor serves as the bustling gateway to Alaska's capital city. As ships approach, visitors are greeted by a panorama of rugged mountains blanketed in lush greenery. The Taku Fisheries Ice House serves as both a historical landmark and a functional part of the local economy. The structure harkens back to a time when ice houses were critical to preserving the daily catch. Today, she operates as a facility where freshly caught seafood is processed and stored. Ha'ani, in the native Tlingit language, translates to our homeland. Various kiosks cater to a range of outdoor adventures, including whale watching, glaciers, helicopter and float plane tours, dog sledding and zip lining adventures. The Gold Belt Tram offers visitors a unique and breathtaking experience by providing an aerial perspective of Juno's stunning landscape. It is a favorite among photographers and sightseers, as the observation decks at the Mountain House offer stunning vantage points for capturing the beauty of Juno and its surrounding landscape. The journey takes approximately six minutes each way, and it ascends 550 meters to the top of Mount Roberts. Strolling through the city offers countless charming experiences. One highlight is visiting the Alaska Shirt Company. We had a lot of fun taking pictures with a stuffed bear at the entrance of the shop. This playful moment added a touch of humor to our day, making it a memorable stop on our stroll through the city. 
Since its founding in 1980, the Alaskan Fudge Company has been known for its high-quality, handcrafted fudge. The confectionery prides itself on making fudge the old-fashioned way, recipes and techniques that have been passed down through many generations. As we stroll through the bustling streets, we encounter numerous shops specializing in diamonds, exquisite jewelry, and fine watches. Each storefront sparkles with elegant displays. The Mount Juno Trading Post is a charming and culturally rich store that offers a blend of authentic and handmade crafts. Fireweed Factory showcases a diverse array of artisan crafts. These pieces often feature motifs inspired by Alaska's wildlife, landscapes, and native cultures. Asiana Garden 2 beckons with its tantalizing fusion of Chinese, Japanese, and Vietnamese flavors. We mapped our route and navigated to the trailhead of Mount Roberts Trail. This trailhead, which is situated at the junction of 6th Street and Nelson Street, is approximately 2 kilometers from the Princess Cruise Dock. Just before reaching the trailhead, we were greeted by a daunting flight of approximately 70 steps that awaited us. Despite a sign warning that the trail was not maintained, we bravely decided to forge ahead. Mount Roberts Trail winds its way up the slopes of Mount Roberts, ascending approximately 1,133 meters to the summit. The trail is known for its steep and challenging terrain. It is rated as difficult due to its steep incline and elevation gain. The out and back distance for this hike is approximately 12.2 kilometers at the top. An expansive viewing platform awaits, offering uninterrupted 360 degree views of Juno. Juno captivates visitors with its stunning natural beauty, rich history, and vibrant cultural scene. Whether exploring glaciers, hiking through rainforests, or immersing oneself in Alaska native traditions, Juneau offers a unique blend of adventure, history, and community spirit.